after studying this module, you shall be able to know about meaning of linguistics and its forensic applications, meaning of forensic stylistics, the methodology of forensic stylistics, and the different applications of forensic stylistics. First, we'll start with the introduction. Linguistics. Linguistics is the systematic study of language. Language is the association of the combination of sounds, words, and sentences to conventional meanings used and understood by a group of people. Scientific means the investigation of language by means of controlled and empirically verifiable explanation and with reference to some general theory of language structure. Linguistics is a community science because its most important focus is on language as a human activity. Although some of its expressive and investigative methods reflect those of mathematics and the natural sciences. Applications of forensic linguistics include voice recognition, interpretation of articulated meaning in laws and legal writings, investigation of discourse in legal settings, explanation of intended meaning in oral and written statement, example confessions, authorship identification, the language of the law, example plain language, Analysis of courtroom language used by trial participants, that is, judges, lawyers, and witnesses. Trademark law and interpretation and translation when more than one language is being used in legal context. All areas of linguistics are used in forensic applications. Phonetics, phonology, including spelling, morphology, semantics, discourse analysis, pragmatics, stylistics and interpretation and translation. Now we'll go through some important definitions. Auditory phonetics. It makes use of auditory methods of analysis for the discrimination and identification of speakers by victims and witnesses. Next is acoustic phonetics. It analyzes speech using acoustic methods for speaker discrimination and identification by instrumental means. Next is semantics. It focuses on the comprehensibility and interpretation of written and spoken language that is difficult to understand. Example, consumer product warnings, jury instructions, trademarks, etc. Next is discourse analysis. It is the study of extended utterances such as narratives and conversations of the type that take place within the judicial process. Next is pragmatics. It is the analysis of a speaker's anticipated meaning in context of actual language used. Forensic linguistics use the notional tools provided by discourse analysis and pragmatics to analyze the function of language used in specific context such as dictation, conversations, hearings, questioning, and the language of specific speech acts, example, threats, promises, warnings, etc. Now, stylistics. It examines cases of questioned authorship. Forensic applications of methods for determining authorship are related to cases requiring the linguist to determine, first, if all the writings in question said were authored by one person. Second, if a questioned writing was written by one of the number of possible authors. Or third, if a questioned writing was or was not authored by one writer who is proposed as the suspect author based on external non-linguistic evidence. All levels of language, sounds, as represented by spellings, words, meanings, sentence, grammar, and language used are possible markers of writing style. Language of the law. It is concerned with assuring that the legal language of statutes and of legal and consumer writings is clear, brief, and simple. That is, a plain language. Language of the courtroom. It studies courtroom discourse, including analysis of the language of witnesses, lawyers and judges. Interpretation. 
interpretation of one spoken language into a different object of studies on interpretation tasks specific to legal venues. Example, question and answers in testimony, pre-trial interpretation and task of the interpreter, etc. Translation. The work relates to providing reliable translations of written material needed in legal proceedings. Stylistics is a division of linguistics which applies the hypothesis and tactic of modern linguistics to the study of style. Stylistics is a discipline that studies the ways in which language is used and the styles of a language in use. Forensic Stylistics It is the application of the knowledge of linguistics and its methods and insights to the forensic context of law, language, crime investigation, trial and judicial procedure. Now, we will discuss about forensic stylistics. Stylistics is generally to evaluate either the aesthetic quality or the perspective conformity of language used in speech or writing. Aesthetic observations of style in written language reflect a reader's impression of excellence of expression. Perspective observations reflect how well the writer has followed stated rules of the language for correct writing and the social rules for good or appropriate writing. Style. It is a reflection of group or individual variation in written language. Individual variation is a result of the writer's choice of one form out of the array of all available forms. It represents variations within a norm, different correct ways of saying the same thing, deviations from a norm, mistakes and idiosyncrasies, author specific forms. The style of a writer is demonstrated by his or her unique cumulative set of grammatical patterns, which is usually the result of the writer's recurrent, that is habitual, use of some or all of the forms in the set. Linguistic variations observed within a norm or deviation away from a norm presupposes the existence and identification of a norm. Although there are various notional issues related to defining linguistic norms. The norm is a model, a rule or a set of rules with a certain degree of obligatory application. The norm is imposed on the linguistic community by the speakers of the language and it affects all manifestations of the linguistic structure. Social or physical separation of groups will result in the formation of distinct communities and micro-communities. There are many norms as there are groups and subgroups demonstrating some degree of relative isolation from one another. First, prestige norms of acceptable by upper social classes. Second, norms of social convention or necessity. Third, norms governing use of registers, varieties and other languages. Fourth, class norms of age, sex, ethnicity, race, socioeconomic status, etc. Fifth, regional norms of geographical location. Sixth, circumstantial norms of situation, purpose, topic, reader, time, place, etc. Seventh, appropriate language norms of proper social behavior. Eighth, correct language norms of correct linguistic behavior. Language norms can be descriptive or perspective. They are revealed in the descriptive studies of linguists and sociolinguists, as well as in the perspective sets of rules codified by grammars of usage and dictionaries used in classrooms and workplaces. Now, as we can see in this example, the sentences given are either grammatically correct, socially appropriate or the choice of teenagers. Grammatically correct, I am going now, I am going now, I be going now. All these are grammatically correct. Now, socially appropriate, I am afraid you are too late. Next is sorry, the shop is closed. Get the hell out of here depending upon the acceptability by the user. 
forensic stylistics is the application of the science of linguistic stylistics to forensic context. The focus of forensic stylistics is written language and sometimes spoken language represented in writing, example, transcripts of tape recorded conversations, depositions, interviews, etc. The primary application of forensic stylistics is in the area of questioned authorship. Other frequent applications relate to the analysis of meaning in documents such as wills, insurance policies, contracts, agreements, laws, and the analysis of meanings in spoken discourse. Forensic stylistics is the application of linguistic knowledge, methods, and insights to the forensic context of law, language, crime investigation, trial, and judicial procedure. It is science through which person is identified by the analysis or linguistic characteristics when a written language is in question. It is the technique concerned with in-depth evaluation of linguistic characteristics or text including grammar, syntax, spelling, vocabulary and phraseology, which is accomplished through a comparison of text material of known authorship in an attempt to discuss idiosyncrasies peculiar to an author. Stylistics is the scientific analysis of individual style markers as observed and described in the ideolect of a single writer as well as class style markers as identified in the language or dialect of group of writers. Now what are the approaches of forensic stylistics? Forensic stylistics has the following two approaches qualitative approach and the quantitative approach. Qualitative approach assesses error and personal behavior of author also known as idiosyncrasies. Second, quantitative approach. This approach is very often referred to as stylometry. For example, word length or the phrase length. Writing style of the writer can be classified as format of page arrangement, punctuation, misspelling, capitalization, expression of emotion, and word compounding. Now we'll go to the methodology of forensic stylistics. First is get organized. Before beginning any analysis, make each attempt to arrange, organize, and pull together all questioned materials and all available known materials whose context of writing is as close as possible to that of the questioned writings into manageable sets. The inclusion of writings after analysis begins, although sometimes inevitable requires duplication of concordance and quantitative work and is not cost effective. Second step is state the problem. Formulate the authorship problem as you see it. Express the research questions for vivid analysis and quantitative analysis. Select the appropriate authorship models. Third, procedural steps. Study the questioned writings and assess the array of stylistic variation. That is, make lists of all variations, including variant as well as invariant forms of each variable. This allows identification of variation present in questioned writings that may or may not be present in the known. It also enables identification of variation in questioned writings that does not have the opportunity to occur in known, that is non-occurring variables, accumulate all questioned and known writings with the same or similar context of writing. The array of stylistic variation in every set is assessed then. Identify style markers like deviations from any norm or variations within any appropriate norm. Also make a note of single occurrences of variation in the sample as well as habitual variation in the same. Fourth, specify descriptive results. Specify individual style markers. Specify the array of variation, that is, the collective set of all deviations and variations. Identification and separation of style markers according to class and 
and individual characteristics is done. Fifth step is specify quantitative results. This includes giving results of statistical tests used to evaluate the significance of variables, estimating the joint probability of occurrence of variables in compared writings and applying other appropriate quantitative approaches to style marker identification. Specify exclusion conclusion. This includes identifying the dissimilarities between the style markers of questioned and known writings that has been evaluated. Determining the linguistic or statistical significance of dissimilarities found between the question and the known sense. Also to check what amount the candidate writer can be excluded. In addition, there are numerous other quantitative approaches to the identification of style markers used in authorship, recognition and discrimination. Example is orthographic, variables and patterns, frequency distribution of low and high frequency words, function words, common words and co-locations of words neutral networks and multivariate principal component cluster correspondence and discriminant analysis. 7. Specify identification conclusion. This step includes the identification of similarities between the style markers of questioned and known writings and determine the linguistic or statistical significance of similarities. To determine to what measure the candidate writer can be identified according to the found similarities. Identify style markers representing the range of variation by using the following two criteria. First criteria is deviations from any norm the writer may be influenced by example mistakes and second is variations within any norm of the writer that is one or more variants of a form that may alternate within one speaker or among many speakers. 8. President cases. This includes checking for linguistic and legal precedents related to style markers used. 9. State and opinion. This includes to state an opinion for the court which includes the exclusion levels identification levels or inconclusive. Also to note single occurrences of variations as well as variations that occur more than once or are repetitive. Conclusions regarding authorship are stated in terms of identification or exclusion on a 5, 7 or 9 point continuum such as the scale presently followed under development by the Scientific Working Group for Forensic Document Examination. Tenth, write a report. The final step is to write a report or declaration that follows the structure used in the sciences. The report is only presented if it has been requested. The structure of the report style includes the following. First, summary. Second, articulation of problem. Third, upfront statement of opinion, fourth previous work, fifth method outline, sixth findings, seventh discussion, eighth is the conclusion. The definitions provided in the table are directly related to the process of observing and describing stylistic variations, individualization and the writings used for such analysis. First variation, variable. A stylistic feature of the writing also called characteristic or style marker. Variation. The combination of all occurrences of the same variable found in a set of writings. Similarity. A variable that is present in two sets of writings. Dissimilarity. A variable that is present in one set of writings but absent in another set. Non-occurring variable. A variable with no opportunity to occur in the language used in a set of writings. Individualizing characteristic. A variable that is not a class characteristic 
but not necessarily unique to the writer. Idiosyncratic characteristic. A single variable that is unique to a given writer. This is infrequent in language. Range of variation. The unique combination of all occurrences of all variables found in a set of writings. Now writings, natural writing, writing done in the context of its purpose with little attention to the writing process. Request writing, writing done for the purpose of providing a writing sample, often via dictation. Context of writing, purpose, intended reader, topic, medium, that is paper, instrument used, that is pen, time, place, etc. Then comparable writing, two or more sets of writings that share the same or similar context of writings. Then quantity of writing, the amount of writing needed to assess the writer's range of variation. Now we'll discuss about specifying style markers. Identifying style markers at all linguistic levels includes format, that is layout of the document itself, margins, spacings, etc. Punctuation of all types, spelling, all the variety of patent variants and mistakes, word formation including inflectional variation, syntax, sentence structure, coordination, subordination and punctuation, lexical variation, choices of words and phrases, semantic variation, semantic features of words, phrases and sentences, functional variation of language use, match between structure and function, interference features from other languages present in English writing. Identify and separate as far as possible style markers that are class characteristics, that is dialect or language features of a definable group, example, social, regional, first language, age, etc. Then identify and separate style markers that are individual features, that is idolect, but not necessarily idiosyncratic. Features of the writer, for example, the following examples represent repeated variation in one writer and at least numbers 4, 5 and 10 are possibly individual markers. First, punctuation, I'll all contractions with quote marks for apostrophe. Spelling, probably, secretary, being, not, then, there, pissed. Then word formation, every day, a lot, makes. You can see in this example, the variation in one writer and the numbers 4, 5 and 10 are the individual markers. How are style markers identified? This question is the most frequently raised questions on the authorship of the question document. The first and the foremost step is to work within a hypothetical model of linguistics that views stylistic variation as inherent to the system of language itself, but not a characteristic of language performance. This will guarantee the detection of patterned variation needed for the identification of the actual author. The second requirement is to recognize the unique style markers that give uniqueness to an individual. This process requires the identification of an aggregate of markers, each of which may be found in many other writers. But there are very few chances of being present together in single individual writer. This means that Identifying a writer on the basis of a single marker of writing style is not the best practical solution. Therefore, the approach is to identify an entire range of variations in the given sets and analyzing it in a more acceptable quantitative way. The theoretical limitation to this is the recognition and definition of the norms within or from which the language generally varies. Now, the applications of forensic stylistics. It includes voice identification, interpretation of expressed meaning in laws and legal writings, analysis of discourse in legal settings, interpretation of intended meaning in oral and written statements, 
example confessions. Authorship identification, the language of the law, example plain language. Analysis of courtroom language used by trial participants, that is judges, lawyers and witnesses. Trademark law and interpretation and translation when more than one language must be used in a legal context. Now the summary. Forensic stylistic is the application of linguistic knowledge, methods and insights to the forensic context of law, language, crime investigation, trial and judicial procedure. Stylistics is generally to evaluate either the aesthetic quality of the language used in speech or writing, whereas style is a reflection of group or individual variation in a written language. Identifying the different variations in the linguistic writing helps in the identification of the original author of the questioned writing sample. The two different methods to forensic stylistics are qualitative approach and the quantitative approach. The methodology for identification of the actual writer includes getting organized, stating the problem, procedural steps, specifying descriptive results, specifying quantitative results, specifying exclusion, I repeat, specifying exclusion conclusion, specifying identification conclusion, precedent cases and writing a report. Specifying the style markers and their identification is a very important step in identifying the author of the writing. Forensic stylistics can help in voice identification, analysis of discourse in legal settings, authorship identification and so on.